Good morning, everyone. Here are the Sanibel Island and Southwest Florida update as of December 1st, 2022. Several retail Sanibel stores have relocated to the Bell Tower Shopping Center on Fort Myers. The address is 13499 South Cleveland Avenue. Congress Jewelers, Macintosh Books, and Sanibel Soul have moved to the Bell Tower Complex. Adventures and Paradise Outfitters is another one of the stores that has moved to Bell Tower. They are keeping the Sanibel Luminary Festival tradition alive. Usually, Sanibel merchants decorate their storefronts, light up the pathways, and offer treats as shoppers browse the stores and walk around enjoying the Christmas lights. Adventures in Paradise Cruises posted on Facebook, Nothing will replace our special Sanibel Island Luminary, but this Friday, let's keep the spirit alive. The Bell Tower tree lighting has added luminaries for a reimagined Sanibel Luminary. Come and support and see where a few of the Sanibel Island shops have popped up, end quote. The event is on Friday, December 2nd from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. at the Bell Tower shops. Besides the shops, there will also be booths with merchandise. One I know of is the Rachel Pierce Art Gallery, and there will also be live music. The singing duo Holt and Cable will be there performing Christmas classics. They are also raising money for the Ding Darling Refuge. The My Safe Florida Home Program is now open and accepting applications for free hurricane home inspections. Owners of any site-built single-family residential Florida property may apply for a free home hurricane inspection. The owner will receive an inspection report and recommended improvements. Eligible applicants may then apply for program grant money for home strengthening improvements. For more information about eligible activities and grant applicants, please visit the website at www.mysafeflhome.com. The American Red Cross is offering financial assistance. The Red Cross is providing financial assistance based on household size to people whose homes were confirmed to have been destroyed or sustained major structural damage from Hurricane Ian or Hurricane Nicole. The major damage is indicated by significant structural damage to a residence that requires extensive repairs. This may include substantial failure of the roof, walls, or foundation, or a water line above 18 inches in an essential living space. A residence that is destroyed is one that is a total loss or with damage so extensive that repair is not feasible. For more information and steps to register for an appointment, please see www.redcross.org backslash Ian. So I'm pretty sure this is new for the American Red Cross to offer financial assistance. I read somewhere that they got tons of financial donations, more than expected, so they want to take the surplus and help people financially. I think that is great, and I hope it works out because there's definitely a lot of people that need financial assistance. Naples Beach Access Update. The city of Naples has reopened a limited number of beach accesses and a small section of the pier. Please remember there is still debris in the water and debris buried six inches or more under the sand. Beachgoers should wear protective footwear and are advised not to swim. Please be courteous of workers and machinery present that are working to clean up the storm debris. Please do not place chairs, towels, um, or anything else in the work zones. No fishing allowed on the pier. On the pier. If you're not familiar with Naples, it's outside of Marco Island. It's about a 45 minute drive from Sanibel. I've been to Naples lots of times. It's a great area. So if you're missing the beach, you can't go to Sanibel. I recommend visiting Naples. Thanks for listening.